RPG Real Estate Episode 3. So, the usual two stories. First story was um, about this um, uh, this new client by uh, this new client of Cotone. And uh, lahat ng mga property listings na in-offer niya, hindi contento ang client na to. Then, they got a call from an old client, si Mr. Choran, who runs an apartment building. And, well, chinek nila kung bakit, um, bakit halos, um, halos buwan-buwan, umaalis yung, yung mga tenants niya dun sa in-offer nilang, yung sa in-offer nilang kwarto. So they checked it. So they checked it themselves. Yun pala, ang kwartong ito, haunted. Now, Cotton's uh, new client got wind of this. She storms into the office and says, I wanna see that room. So, later on, um, Cotton and the gang found out that this new client of hers is a necromancer. Eh, nakita nga nung bago niyang kliyente na necromancer. Wow! Ang daming multo! Pwede kang gawin! Pwede kang laki! Pwede kang laki sa mga manika ako to! <laughs> she just said, Thank you, Cotton, eh! I'll take it! Problem solved for RPG Real Estate! Second story! Now, Medyo, um, uh, this is not, uh, related to any, any real, any real estate stuff. Pero, it was time for them to pay a tax known as a, um, magic power levy. Papunta ng apat doon, may haba ng pila. Walang nga, parang, may parang, ano eh, talagang, mukhang may, na, mukhang may nahabaw na deadline talaga eh. So, it took them siguro early afternoon to get to the um to the uh, to the magic power device na magme-measure ng kanilang ng kanilang mana or magic power. So they took turns na si unang oras si Rakira. Wala, a eh, warrior. Eh. <laughs> Expect mo magkaroon ng magic power yon? Nope. Absolutely not. Then si Rufuria, of course. She's a she's a priestess. Natural meron siya. Then Si Kotone, who is a wizard. Sigurado mas mataas ang, ang magic power niya. Ayun, tumataas. Now, it was fast turn to um to to pay her levy. Nung pagkano niya, biglang biglang ah uh, biglang umigo yung metro na sobrang bilis. Then eventually sumabog yung <laughs> yung counter as in sumabog. So, to the scene na uh, yung dalawang supervisors ito. Si Resha at si Mona. Eh, syempre, unang nagtanong si Mona, oh, ano nagyari na ito? Ba't, ba't nagkakaroon yung device namin? So, nireport ng, ng isa nilang tauhan, yun ang nangyari. Eh, yun, tinuro si Fa. Eh, well, ay kagad nag-sorry si Fa. Eh, kagad nag-sorry siya. Mona, uh, told her na, no, it's okay. Because, uh, you've already charged up the device. Kung baga fully charged na yung, yung, yung magic power device. Grabe. So, that means now, they could send, they could send the other people home na. Final scene. Um, Fa, uh, made, Fa did a practical joke on Refu Refuria. Meron siya pinakain na cookie. Pag, Pagkagat ni Rufuria, blah! Super, super spicy pala ang cookie na to. E sinabi ni Fa, maraming ganito sa mga binili ko. And they were, they were all set as traps. So, tumawa na lang yung iba. So, pinagtawalan na lang nila si Rufuria. Patreon, mga ka-lifestyle. We're gonna break this episode down now. Critic sub style. Pace! There was a common ground with the over, to the overall pacing of this episode for the two stories. Kasi ang opening scene dito, there was a um there's there's an there's an ongoing dragon scare. 
And through the pacing, you would also realize na, Tako po. May threat to... May threat to peace pala to. May... Paano makakapagbenta ang apat na bida nito? Kung meron ganitong trouble sa lugar nila. Eh, yun ang unang tumakbo sa isip ko ngayon. So, paano sila makakabenta ngayon kung meron ganitong... Kung meron ganitong kardilikadong halimaw na gumagala sa lugar? Eh, really, really made you think. So, it was through this kind of pacing that will, that will make you think na, uh-oh, uh-oh, trouble for the main protax. So do I have complaints? Absolutely not. Flow naman. Biggest gear shift of the first story here was yung um was when the necromancer stormed into into RPG Real Estate's office. That's sabi niya, Kodo ne! I wanna see that property. Well, why did I call this a gear shift? Simple lang mga lifestyle. The client has already filled the need for herself right here. At lumapit na lang siya sa ahente niya. In this case, si Cotone. To, uh, to assist her to assist her get this um, acquire this uh, this rental property. Yung kliyente na ang lumapit kay Cotone rito, Cotone rito. Which proves how how trustworthy Cotone is now as a um, as a real estate broker. Eh, binu... Mo. Uh, yun ang nakaka- yun ang yun ang nakakatawa pag anong pag uh, if you're into selling if you feel you've gained the trust of your um, of your prospect or client sila na talaga lalapit sa'yo biggest gear shift of the second story no when Fa paid her levy but in the process destroyed the counter <laughs> yung device na na nagme-measure ng magic power well For me, it's a no-brainer of a gearship because uh, this goes to show you how mysterious a character Fa is. So these two gearships that I saw, hmm, the second one, I got a, I got, I got a, I got a tingle in my bone that says that this will, uh, this will have implications later on in this anime. Plot wise, need I say more? Planchado ang plot, Patreon, mga ka lifestyle. Because the bind that ties both stories is this dragon scare issue. It can either be detrimental to to RPG Real Estate's bis- line of business, or it can even be well a blessing to them. Because well, to, to tell you honestly, guys, if this dragon destroys more um more uh, more forest land, yeah, because fire breathing. Eh. That could open more more property listings for the company, for for our for our four main protags, and also it can also be a hindrance because it'll it'll gravely affect their um uh, the pacing of their uh, of their sales processes. So, baka may raba sila magbenta lalo kasi may may danger na ganito eh. High risk ngayon yung yung mga magiging uh, property listings sila. And they may be forced to sell it for for cheap. Probably, wag, wag naman sana. Rock bottom prices. Uh, of course, they need to they need to they need to dispose their inventory. Kasi later on, baka pag pag natagdagan na natagdagan nito, mag, mag, magagawl sila sa magagawl sila sa oras ngayon. Nilap na. Yeah, that will play a role down the line in this anime. And of course, you need a well ironed out plot. And of course, the tie that binds uh, this episode is that dragon, uh, is that dragon scare. So, yep, that, that's a that's a good tie that will bind. Uh, that's a good tie to 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 have uh, two different stories bind. Because there's something hanging over your head that's that's still not resolved up to now. Kasi ni bisigam pa rin ni Lady Satona ito. Of course, sir. Of course, the um, the future of her own company is at stake here. If if they don't neutralize this danger, di makakabenta ang kumpanya niya ng property. So, pace, flow, and plot. 
They all came together for this episode, folks. Excuse me. So, RPG Real Estate, episode three. Hmm. For the slice of life elements. Two thumbs up. Why did I say that? Because the Daniel, well, like I've said in the past, in the previous two episodes, may educational value ang anime na to. Especially if you're in the profession of selling. The two stories in this episode were no different. Talagang, um, if you're into, of course, the, uh, the profession of selling, you would see the value in this, uh, in this particular episode. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> so yun. Especially this, uh, this dragon scare issue. Talagang the first thing that came to my mind was, Oh boy. Magiging delikado ngayon ang lugar niya, nila. Pakalalong mahirapan magbenta ang mga bida. Kasi may trouble na ganito eh. Tandaan nyo, when there's a, um, when there's something that has a negative effect on a property like, um, war, um, disease, and, um, the overall culture of the place, of the, of the area, yeah, that can play a role in real estate prices. I've seen it before. So, talaga nung, ano yun, Nung binagit yung ano eh, there's a dra dragon con dragon presence confirmed. Nako po. Pati yung opisina nyo. <laughs> so gumagano na ako eh. So, but we'll have to look out for um for the biggest gear shift of the second story. Mukhang, uh, it eventually led to Rufuria's suspicion of Fai. Kasi lately pala, Fa hasn't been getting enough sleep. Eh yun nga lang, naabutan nga siya ni Cotton na natutulog sa hallway. Eh, nagtaka lang si Cotton na Ha? But, how did you end up here? How did you end up out here? So, I don't know, pero, uh, hindi pa naman ganun kasolid yung yung suspicion pa naman ni, ano, ni ni Ruforia kay Fa. And, uh, that's yet to be seen. So, pero, tutok pa more tayo sa issue na yan. So, again, RBG Real Estate, episode 3, two thumbs up. And letter two thumbs up for RBG Real Estate, mga ka lifestyle. Hmm. Educational value? Yes. And, well, implications down the line? Absolutely. So, Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, ay, chill-chill na lang muna kayo dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next...